thinking of getting a cat drinking fountain and don't know how much work is involved in using one, how often should you change the water? Well, let's talk about it. Coming up. If you are thinking of buying your fur baby a water fountain, then congratulations! Great idea! Because it will help your cat drink more water as long as you keep it clean. Cat drinking fountains come in all kinds of forms and sizes and materials. Most of these drinking fountains nowadays work with the pump to cycle the water. And you plug it into your outlet. They usually also come with filters that the water runs through to keep it clean. Well, that depends on what your cat personally prefers. What kind of material should you choose? Plastic, stainless steel, stone, wood, or ceramic? They all have their advantages. Some plastics can harbor more bacteria if the water is left sitting for too long, which you want to avoid. Stone or wood fountains could be porous and hold onto odors if not properly maintained. Ceramic and stainless steel fountains, however, can be easily cleaned. But as long as you clean your fountain regularly, you should be fine with any material. For your first water fountain, you might want to stick with the same material you are using for your cat's drinking bowl right now, um, if that has worked for you and for your kitty cat. What size should you choose? Well, there are so many sizes to choose from. Don't get one that is for a huge dog. Um, get one that nicely fits in the space you want the fountain in. Your cat should have access to it from all sides. That's important. What about noise levels? Well, most of the new models have actually great pumps and systems in place to keep the noise down. Some of them you can't even hear, except for the water splashing, which can be very meditative. Definitely get one with a filter. You can run the fountain with or without the filter, but the water that comes out of your tap usually contains trace amounts of toxins and chemicals like chlorines and chloramines that are neither healthy for you nor your cat. That's where the filters come in. Mesh screens, activated carbon and ion exchange resin in those filters can help remove those toxins and keep your cat's drinking water safe. So now let's quickly talk about maintenance. There's only a couple of things you really got to do. So one is check the water levels every once in a while to make sure your cat has access to fresh water at all times. If there isn't enough water in the fountain, the pump will make more noise than normal because it is sucking in air instead of water, so you'll definitely hear it. If you don't fill it up with water, then the pump might burn out and you don't want that. The other thing you've got to do is clean your fountain, just like you would the cat's normal water bowl. If you notice slimy water or white bubbles, the cleaning of the fountain is definitely overdue. The bubbles come from uh, organic matter dissolved in the water. That could be food, saliva, or other debris. Don't wait this long to clean it because you wouldn't want to drink that water and neither does your cat. Clean it with natural soap and hot water once a week. Some of these fountains uh, you can even put into the dishwasher. To ensure it is really clean, remove the filter and run a mixture of water and vinegar through the fountain. That will disinfect it for sure. Yeah, and then uh, the filter, you have to exchange those. And as for exchanging them, check the instructions. Some need to be exchanged every two weeks, others every month, and some only every three months. Here is a really nice model to check out if you want to spoil your cats. This is Pet Libro Stainless Steel Water Fountain. It is made of 304 stainless steel, BPA free, and rust and corrosion resistant. It is easy to clean, durable, and hygienic. You can wash the top and bottom in the dishwasher, which is great. What I like about it a lot is that it is super quiet. It runs around 30 decibels, which is almost inaudible. Another thing I really like is the ergonomic handle. You can easily pull off the lid to clean it or add water. You can also adjust the water flow to make it perfect for your cat. Do you like the water more splashy or rather calm? Whatever they prefer. It also, this one holds around nine cups of water and Pet Libro, uh, Pet Libro recommends to exchange their filters every two weeks. We've had this running for a while now and our cats really enjoy it a lot. Especially Angel, who doesn't use any other water source anymore. So there's somebody who highly recommends it. That's all for today, my wonderful cat crazy crew. 
and thank you all so much for hanging out with my cats and me today. If you had fun or learned anything, then please do me a favor and like, subscribe, comment and share. That stuff really helps our channel. If you'd like to support the Cat Crazy channel, then please consider becoming a member on Patreon. Or, and I'm really excited about this one, you can pick up some Cat Crazy merchandise on my brand new website. We have t-shirts and dresses. Shh, so she? And don't forget, enough of that. A cat bowl just for me. And you can sign up for, for my newsletter as well. Until next time, stay cat crazy and don't forget, cats rule and so do you.